next lesson is simple subtraction involving the heavenly and earthly beads. And this time we are going to be doing the hundreds column. We will be using all of the beads in the ones, tens, and hundreds columns. We will be doing numbers from zero to all the way up to 999. 900, 999. So let's start. So 245. Put the number 245 on your abacus. 245. You see that number there? 245. And we are going to take from that 125. So 245 minus 125. Well, how do I write the number 125? You might want to write it out, or maybe if you can see it in your head, it's fine. It's, it's a 1, a 2, and a 5. So here we go. Let's take away the number 125. There's a 1 in the hundreds column. There's a 2 in the tens column. And a 5 that we're taking away in the ones column. So 245 minus 125 is, well, there's a 1 here. So that would be 100. There is a 2 here. So that would be 20. And there's a zero here. So 120. A one, a two, and a zero says 120. So 245 minus 125 is 120. All right, let's do another problem. 193. Put the number 193 on your abacus. So a 1 goes in the 1's column, a 9 goes in the 10's column, and a 3 in the 1's column. So 193. So let's see if we can do this. 193 minus 151. So 193 minus 151 151 is written 1, a 5, and a 1, so I need to take away 1 here, a 5 here, and a 1 here. So 193 minus 151 is, oh, well, this is 0 here now, so we don't say anything for that. All we're left with is a 4 here and a 2 here. So we say that, 42. So 193 minus 151 is 42. 193 minus 151, those are big numbers, is, but it's a piece of cake for you, 42. 42. A 4 and a 2 says 42. All right, here we go. Let's do a massive number, big, massive number. Let's see. Put the number 986 on your abacus. 900, 986. A 9. An 8. And a 6. 986. And we are going to take from that the number 5. 155. So 986 minus 555. Well, wow, that's a piece of cake. 555 is a 5, a 5, and a 5 in each of the columns, so we just go... I just took away from that 555. I just did the problem 986 minus 555 just by moving those three away from there. Well, what do I have left? Well, there's a four here, there's a three here, and there's a one here. So 431. A four, a three, and a one says 431. 
So 986 minus 555 piece of cake with your abacus. You don't just read it. It just says 431. Easy as that. Let's do one more with a really big number, 845. So 845. That kind of snuck up there. 845. And we are going to take from that the number... 220. So 845 minus 220. 845 minus 220. Well, the number 220 is written a 2, a 2, and a 0. So to take 220 away, I say 200, slide it away from the beam, and 20. And 20 is written at 2 and a 0, 220. I don't do anything with that column. So 845 minus 220 is, well, there's a 6 here, a 2 here, and a 5 here. So that number is 625. 625, 625, 625. 845 minus 220 is 625. All right. I think you've mastered the simple addition. And in the next lesson, and in the next lesson, we get to move on to complementary numbers using subtraction. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But before we do that, we've got to be masters at the simple subtraction. So go print off your worksheet and fly through those problems. Get them all right on your first try because your abacus is doing the thinking for you. you. You know how to use it. It's a tool in your hands. You hardly have to think. You just have to read it. So print off your ab or you know, print off an abacus. Print off your worksheet and work through the problems with your abacus.